Hey everybody, Ronaldo Offerman with my DMX video manuals. Today I want to talk to you about Easy Remote. This is one of my favorite things about my DMX because you can do so many cool things with Easy Remote. So let's go ahead and take a look. The first thing you're going to need is, of course, my DMX. You'll want to go ahead and do some basic scenes taken, uh, hooked up to it, and or programmed on it, excuse me. And you're going to need an iPhone or an Android device. Now you'll either go to your Google Store, whatever the heck it's called, or your App Store. And you're going to download a program called Easy Remote. It is an incredible price of free. And once you launch it up, you're going to want to make sure that it is on the same channels uh, or on the same Wi-Fi network, excuse me, as your computer. Now, I need to make this very clear. It does not have to be online. Okay, so you can just make an ad hoc network. An ad hoc network is where you would go, you know, on Mac, you just go turn on your Wi-Fi and then you create a network. And then you have your phone join it. Me personally, I don't like doing that. It's very unstable. And whether that's whether it's Mac or PC, ad hoc networks are very unpredictable. Get yourself a little portable USB router or battery operator router, just something. You're going to have a much better experience with that. I promise you. If you're pizza when you're supposed to french fry, you're going to have a bad time. So it automatically connects itself. There is no configuration or anything to it. Uh, and there it is right there, my DMX 2.0. So we're going to go ahead and click that. And basically, Easy Remote is the only type of app out there that allows you to customize the remote. And of course, it's only compatible with my DMX or CompuShow. So if you've seen my CompuShow manuals, this is going to look really familiar. The difference is with my DMX, you create it on your phone or tablet versus creating it on the computer and then uploading it on there. So we're just going to, this is really easy. I'm going to walk you through it. Please keep in mind that not every function is for my DMX. So not everything will work. The color wheel doesn't quite work with my DMX. The X, Y axis doesn't 100% work with it. But I'm going to show you some of the basics. So the very first thing, of course, we've got buttons. All right. Well, we have faders or sliders. And you've got a couple different types right there. And we have these handy dandy little knobs. All right. And of course, we can label things too if we want to. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what's in each one. So here on this upper left hand one right there, we're going to go ahead and name it. We're going to call this blackout. Okay, and we're going to make it a gray button. Actually, we'll make it a dark button. Sorry, we're going to make that's the uh, text color. So we're going to choose the text color to be white. For on, we want it to be blue. And then for off, we want it to be pretty much black right there. Now there's some pre-made buttons. All right, we have some pre-made buttons and I apologize if you see text and all sorts of things pop up. But anyways, we got some pre-made buttons and you can choose your colors right there. Or again, use the pre-made ones. I said, I just said like three times, but I want to get black. Once we're done with that, We're going to go ahead and click the little check mark, and there it is, blackout. Okay. Now, nothing's going to happen yet because we still need to program it. So, what we're going to do is we are going to right click over here on my DMX, and we're going to learn easy remote command. Click it, and there it is. It's already memorized it. Awesome. Now, let's go ahead and play with this button right down below it. So I need to unlock Easy Remote so I can edit it. Click the little brush. We're going to call this red. And our text color is going to be, let's say black or grayish. For on, we want it to be white. Okay, and then for off, I want it to be a red color. And we're going to click the check mark. And there it is. Now I need to, that text color didn't work out too well, did it? There. There it is right there. So red. Now we're going to go into my DMX. We're going to click on our red solo, learn easy remote command, click red. There it is. So now by clicking between the red and the blackout, I can switch back and forth. Pretty easy. Now, 
In one of the previous tutorial videos, I talked about the differences between HTP and LTP and auto, which is right down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set everything on LTP. And if you haven't seen that video, please make sure to watch that. And what we're going to do is we're going to have our dimmer set. So back over here, we're going to use this as the dimmer, but I want to add a text icon. So I'm going to click this little ABC right here. We're going to click that. Oops. And that is our label. And we're going to call this dimmer. Now you can also ways of doing this. Okay. We're going to click that. Now we can put the dimmer and have it right there somewhere where it's easy for you to see, or we can delete it. And we can just name it automatically. So we're going to call it dimmer. And see it's down there below and it's a little too low for me and that's why we'd probably use a text label at that point but that way you can see both different options so again we're gonna have our dimmer we're gonna lock it again and now we're gonna take this dimmer right here and this is for my inner pocket spots and we're gonna learn easy remote command we're gonna bring that up there we can do the same thing over here learn easy remote command and we're gonna put this one on LTP as well Learn easy remote. Bam! Look at that. All right. Now, so we've got our dimmer, and I can easily control it. And it's an instantaneous response from my phone, too. Now we've got this guy over here. Now we're going to use this for the strobe. So this is something really interesting, right? Because I want to make, I want to be able to control the shutter live. The only problem is that the shutter function is off. Then we have solid. And then we have strobe and the strobe value is from the slowest at 17 to the fastest at let's see we've got 17 to 131 right well the thing is that if I map this entire thing to the strobe then we got to go from 0 to 17 and then we just got to be careful and we move it too much then it shuts off or it acts weird but not quite with this see it allows me to search min and max value so we're gonna call this strobe okay and we are going to, I don't want to hide the value, but we do need to do, we're going to set the maximum value. And we know that 17 is the slowest. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to have, let me go back down here. I know that it's solid on at, let's say 10. So we're actually going to take it all the way down to 10. So when the dimmer is all the way down, it doesn't give me a strobe. And then as I bring it up, it goes slower and then faster. So there we go, we've got 10, oops, I'm sorry, that's maximum value. So we're going to take the maximum value to 131. Minimum value is 10. And then of course you can change your background color. Well, it's a, so we're going to have the text color being blue. We'll have the background color being white and the cursor color can be uh, red, whatever, we're good. Okay, there it is, the strobe. So it's white, and then as I bring it up, bam, it's, it's almost like a thermometer. But let's go ahead and take a look and see what happens here. So now we're going to take our shutter. We're going to right-click, learn easy remote command. Again, same thing, learn easy remote command. Same thing here, learn easy remote command. And bam, notice that when I take the strobe all the way to the top, 131, it only goes to, of course, 131. So it allows me to set the value. Okay, so that's essentially how you create and map. But check this out. We could actually create multiple pages. So I can have another page. And we can create more buttons. And then we can create another page on top of that. And we can create some sliders. Now when you're done, you click the folder and make sure that you save. We're gonna just call it my DMX demo and click save. And you can extract those files via iTunes too if you want so you can bring it to another one. 
You also have your save as, and you can open, so you can have different folders for different layouts. Now, let me tell you where this is really important, what you can do with this. If you are a wedding DJ, what you can do is on these buttons, you can have different buttons, entrance, and you can name each button with each wedding couple's name. So that way, when you're introducing the parents, you've got a button for the parents, button for the wedding party, you know, ushers, whatever the case may be, or even go individual. So this not only allows you to have the names in an easy to read format, but you can also have an individual light show for each individual person that comes in and then have your first dance, whatever the case may be. There's some really cool stuff that you can do with this. If you are doing, like, let's say, a quinceañera, bar mitzvah, sweet 16, do, you know, a program where all your lights are pointing towards the center of the floor and name a big button and call it a selfie button. And then you have the Sweet 16 girl or whatever the, you know, whoever the guest of honor is, download this app and tell them, okay, whenever you want to take a selfie, you stand right here, you put an X or somewhere where they stand, you push this button, all the lights are going to point at you. It's just an extra feature that you can sell because, I mean, really, what teenager wouldn't love to have a button where all the lights point at them so they can take selfies? Again, it's a way to think outside of the box. And again, this is using easy remote my DMX you also have a color wheel option and you have your XY grid which isn't quite compatible with my DMX yet that's more of a compu show feature but again in time you will get more and more features so hopefully that helps you guys out a little bit I love easy remote I know you'll love easy remote too and it's also really functional, not just for mobile events and for an extension of your DMX program. But one of the things that you can do is you can just have the program tucked in behind, you know, your DJ software, whatever the case may be, and just have this pre-program ready to go. If you have somebody that's new to lighting, you know they're not going to mess up the program because all they're touching is a remote. Perfect for fixed installations as well. If you're doing it on an iPad, put it on the iPad kiosk from Global Trust America. And now you have a really easy way to control the lighting at a club or church environment. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, whatever the case may be, please leave them below. Thanks for watching. Good night and God bless.